welcome back to another diecast review. Jesus, uh, today we have Wave 12, finally, uh, Wave 12 has, uh, hit my store after, like, what, it's supposed to come out in December, before Christmas, and it's February 15th, so, I don't know, I don't know why it was pushed back so late, but it was even rushed, that's why it's, uh, in this mold, or whatever, but, there is a couple, there's one that I didn't find, that was Chris Busher's uh, 37, right here. I mean, it's hard to see because the lighting, but I'll give you a better view here in a second. But that one wasn't found. Um, I think that was the only thing that was missing, right? I believe so. Um, yeah, that was the only thing that was missing. And I'm not going to be, uh, I'll take these two back right here, the 9 and the 14, because I've already done a review on the 9. Right here, I got it from the Gold Series. See, so yeah, that one's way better. And then I got this one. I forgot which way this was from. But it's like this one, but not really. There's a few differences, but I mean, not really a lot. But I will. I mean, they look close enough for me to take this one back. So these two, we're not going to do a review on. I'll link uh, the number nine uh, from the Gold Series in the description below if you guys want to see that, if you haven't already. But that's the. Uh, so I'm going to be taking these. Uh, let's see. These three, these two, and this one are the ones that we're reviewing. Like I said, these two are not going to be reviewed. But enough talk. So let's get right into the diecast review. First, we're going to look at Matt Kenseth. <clears throat> excuse me. We're going to look at Matt Kenseth's uh, number six, Patriotic. Um, I believe it's Wyndham, as that was how it was uh, pronounced. Doesn't even look like English. Doesn't even look like a word. But I think uh, I did have trouble with pronouncing that last time. And I, I think there was a comment saying, yeah, you were right about it. And like, you know, it was like trying to tell me how to spell it or um, pronounce it and stuff. But I'm going, I'm just going to say Wyndham right there. Uh, I mean, that's what it, uh, or from what I remember, that's what people said is how it was uh, pronounced. So we're just going to roll with that for now. But this was a paint scheme I was wanting for the Daytona 500. Originally, it was going to be um, Trevor Bain and the uh, number six Advocare right here. So you already had the uh, stuff ready to go for it. But that was a big no-no, because uh, Lionel said, hey, we got this in this wave, so that's what I'm going to use. I'm going to use this for Daytona, and then the rest is going to be uh, a flop between Kenseth and um, Bane. Jesus, I couldn't think of the name for now. But it's going to be a flop between those two, but here's the whole wave. Um, it says, look for the Craftsman Liquid Color Chase piece. I will talk about that later on. Because there's something kind of interesting about that. But let's go ahead and take a closer look of this die cast. Again, skipping the unboxing as we normally do. I've said that so many times in these reviews. Uh, you know what's next? Let's take a look at the magnet first. Got the patriotic magnet. Got the uh, red, white, and blue. And they got the stripes there. Matt Kenseth right there. Wyndham Rewards. And uh, there's nothing on the back because it's just a magnet. But with that out of the way, the decaling on this actually looks... Pretty good. I'm going. I'm going to be honest. It looks. I think it looks pretty good. You know, from what we expected, because it was on um, PTC or WLS 102. Yeah, PTC right here. There's the mold. Uh, just because it looked like that, and everybody thought it was bad at first. But once you actually like get into it, you realize it doesn't look that bad. Unless you get one that looks bad, and then that just looks it looks bad. But yeah, that's a little messed up, but I mean, you know, the front, you're not really going to see it that much on the track anyway. I, I get these for uh, the stop motions, you all know that, but yeah, it's not terrible, if I'm being completely honest. And it's a black interior, so that kind of looks like it's from the Gold Series, but I mean, it's not. It's from the Wave, and we still got a card with it, or a uh, magnet, so that is not really a lot to complain about, other than... The decaling being a little messed up, but that's just, let's be honest, that's just Lionel being Lionel. If this was rushed or not, this one is still good. You know, this wave is still not that bad. I got it black on the wheel in the center. Oh, wait, no, hold up. Is that just, okay, that's just a reflection. I wonder what in the world that was, but anyway, let's take a look uh, actually at the die cast now. See if we can see any, any problems that are messed up with it, because so far I don't really see a lot. So, got Wyndham Rewards, uh, you've earned this, right here, uh, on the hood, on the roof, we've got six, uh, there it is again, Wyndham Rewards, uh, no nameplate, 
Uh, I know it's uh, black interior, but it's still uh, not gold series, but it's still the Wave Authentics line. So, you know, it's uh, not going to be there. Uh, one of the rewards you've earned is uh, there on the deck lid. A little bit of a uh, gapping here on the decal, but, you know, not, not terrible. There's a little bad, but not terrible. One of the rewards, once again, um, Ford, the six right there. I think the spoiler is a little bigger. Uh, than what they're supposed to be, if I'm not mistaken. Or at least this one is. Well, the Fords are uh, a little bigger. Uh, if I get a, um, well, when I get a Camaro out. There's, is there a Camaro in here? I don't remember. Yeah, okay, we got uh, the 24. 24 and the 48, yeah. So once we get those out, um, we will compare the thing as well. But on the side, we got one of my rewards, uh, Advocare, Mac Tools. Got the number six with that uh, patriotic design right there going across the side. Uh, no decals on the uh, exhaust pipes. I don't know if the other ones are like that, but it's not for this one. I believe they're supposed to be. Maybe. Maybe not. No? Okay, maybe not. Maybe I'm just going insane, but anyway, there's where there's a mark out where it's supposed to be. And on the fronts, you have uh, Ford Fusion, of course, and it gets a little screwy. I mean, that's fine, though. Got some mail, you know, uh, well, not some mail, but got Sunoco. Mail, you know, just the sponsors there. Fusion, Ford, six, right there. Again, we got the contingencies once again. Uh, it seems like that should be a little bigger, but not really as, you know, uh, to scale, I guess. But so far, this one's really good for it being PTC and like in the Authentics line. Still would, I'll be, uh, I'll be, what? Obviously, uh, prefer the EL mode, but. You know what? I'll take it. I get what I can get, and I'm still gonna use it in a stop motion. It still came out pretty well, so let's go ahead and move on. Not just the uh, Camaros, but the Toyotas as well. Still have that uh, really small uh, spoiler, so we're still gonna compare those either way. But here's Denny's Hamlin's, uh, Denny Hamlin's number 11 FedEx Cares uh, from 2018. Not a bad die cast. Originally, I, was, I wasn't going to pick it up. I was like, you know, you know what? Because I, I was just going to use it in Daytona. Because I actually, I, uh, fun fact, I actually picked this up in Walmart. I was like, huh, look at that. There's uh, Denny Hamlin uh, from Wave 12. And I was like, eh, it's not worth it, so I'm not going to get it. But here I am having it, so that's kind of kind of weird, isn't it? But anyway, here's the die cast. Not really bad. So uh, let's take a closer look. I figured it wasn't really patriotic enough to uh, not just run Daytona, so that's why I got it. I can run it multiple races, because I do only have two paint schemes. Three, technically, but two look the exact same, and now I have this one. So, FedEx Cares, number 11 right here. Uh, Denny Hamlin got some pixelated or, uh, like, pixel camouflage right there. Got a little swoop design right here with the red, or not the red, the orange and the purple. And again, it's just a magnet, so there's nothing special to it. But with the die cast, let's take a look at that spoiler, shall we? So, here's the spoiler on the Matt Kenseth. Uh, you can see it's a little bigger. Well, then, see it's a little big. And then, this one here, it's kind of hard to tell. There you go. See, the uh, Ford's a little bigger. I don't know if they're supposed to be like that or not. Uh, well, no, because look. You got the other Ford uh, from... So I'm glad I still have that out here. But the Ford from uh, the other way is on the EL. See, those are small as well. So... It's not supposed to be like that, but I mean, who cares? I guess it's just a oh, I hit my camera. It's just a spoiler. Uh, I put up the wrong diecast, but it's just a spoiler. You know, nothing really terrible. And they uh, enlarged the spoiler for this year as well. So I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter. Well, it wouldn't matter anyway because it's a Ford, not a Mustang. So once the Mustangs get here, uh, we'll start reviewing those and using those and stuff for season three, which uh, it's about to come out. We've got a, a Truex or not Truex, a um. Stenhouse coming up with the Fords in Wave 3. So that should be interesting. Cannot wait to use that or get into those. So let's go ahead and take a look at the Denny Hamlin diecast. On the hood, we have FedEx Cares right here. Uh, still black interior. They're all black interior, no nameplates or anything. Uh, 11 right there, FedEx Cares. Uh, Team Rubicon right here on the spoiler or uh, splitter. Or God, the deck lid. <laughs> Jesus, there we go. FedExCares.com right here, uh, Toyota 11, got a little bit of that uh, camouflage right there again, got the Toyota Camry logo, and got a uh, camera right there, 
Got some more of the detail uh, with the camo and the design over here on the side. Got Team Rubicon, Disaster Response, uh, right there on the quarter panel, FedEx carries above the wheel. 11 again, got some more contingencies, k and 3M, whatever. Uh, Mac Tools, got some, uh, again, some camouflage right there as well. Got the Salutes logo right here on the, well, part of the pillar here. And we did have that on the Mac Kesla too. I just forgot to, uh, forgot to show that. So that is there as well. And then you got Denny Hamlin, of course, right here on the name rail. And then on the front, um, I don't know if that's supposed to be like that. I don't think it is. But again, it's PTC mold. It still looks pretty good. You know, I mean, we got a little bit right here. That's fine. I don't think we have any anywhere else. So for, uh, for it being PTC, Lionel still did a pretty darn good job with keeping the decals on there. So I'm pretty fine with it. I don't know about everybody else, but I think this is still a good wave so far, no matter what. Here was the weird one. Um, Eric Jones, Craftsman, um, liquid color, right? But look, on the back, you, you have right here, there's the normal one, what it's supposed to look like, and it goes, look for the Craftsman liquid color chase piece. So what I think Lionel did was put all the chase pieces in instead of the normal one. I think. Because this is liquid color. This is supposed to be a flat, uh, matte finish. Not, you know, not like as bright or dark as it is. No, dark. Okay, so it's not as dark as it's supposed to be. So I believe this is liquid color. I believe they're all liquid colors. So would you count that as a chase piece? If it's all liquid color, but it's the only liquid color that's like doesn't have a normal scheme right I don't know but due to the common uh, number of this meaning there's a lot of them out there nothing really special we're going to use it anyway we're going to take a look at it so this is I guess you could say this is the first liquid color I found which technically it is but it doesn't have the meaning because there's no uh, normal paint scheme but we are still going to take a look at it and see how it turned out now, right away, this one feels so weird. I'll explain that here in a minute. But there's a Craftsman 20, Eric Jones, right there. And, uh, again, magnet, nothing important. But this is weird. Because it's matte. See that? See the matte finish right there? Yeah. It's supposed to be like this. This is also matte finish. But this is supposed to be dark, just a red. Like a normal red. Like this color red. Right here. It's supposed to be like, like that. But it's, it's color chrome, or it's liquid color. So it's not like that, but it's weird. I don't, I don't, I don't get it. It's, I don't know, it's just, it feels really weird. I don't know, it's just, like I said, it feels weird for like the 20th time, but. I don't know, still looks pretty cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. Got Craftsman right there on the hood. Craftsman Club right there on the lower part of the hood. Got 20, Craftsman right there on the roof. This is one I did want to get, by the way. Uh, Craftsman right there on the deck lid. Not spoiler splitter, like I said last time. Toyota, 20, Craftsman, Camry, and the camera right there. Got a Reesers, was that? Yeah, Reesers, I believe. Um, Fine Foods, I think that says it's kind of hard to see. You can, yeah, there we go. All right. We got it. We, I understand what it says. What it says. Don't know why I said it like that, but oh well. Got a little bit of a window slash decal, like air around here. Doesn't look too great. You got a little bubble there. So this one's not the best. This is probably the worst out of all of them, decal-wise. But it's still, I mean, for what Lionel did, for being rushed, it's still not terrible. Now, you can fight me all you want on it, but I still think it's not terrible. I know uh, original, Big Brian, uh, original Big Brian was not happy at all with this. And there's a little bit of red missing right here. And I can see why, you know. Five bucks for something that's... Not what it's supposed to be. You know, I understand. I get that. And it's different for me because I'm more of the stop motion and not really the collector itself. But, who knows. You know, that's just my opinion. He has his, I have mine. Everybody has their own opinion. But that's just my opinion on this. That's why uh, I do these reviews. So just give my opinion on them because mine's not going to be the same as everyone else's. Some Maybe some ones, but not everyone else's. So, oh well. You know, it is what it is. They have their beliefs. I have mine. But let's go ahead and move on. Here's the one I wanted the most to complete the uh, Hendrix set of the 
uh, patriotic because I had Bowman's, um, Elliot's, and Johnson's, but I didn't have Byron's. I'm like, all right, we got to get Byron's. Now we have Byron's. So that was uh, kind of unexpected because I really thought there's a the wave again. I really thought I missed out on this one, honestly. But, I mean, I guess I didn't. So, here it is. Uh, this one isn't the best. I can already see right here with the decaling. Uh, where everything, like, supposed to click together and stuff. But, we'll look into, uh, we'll look into that more uh, here in a few seconds. Because that is what we are here to do after all, anyway. Again, we're going to take a look at the magnet itself. Not a terrible magnet. Um, but it's not bad. I do wish they changed the patriotic for this. I wish it was a whole lot better, but I mean, it's a normal paint scheme with Liberty and the Liberty University logo, uh, Patriotic. So, I mean, we the United, Liberty University are here. I mean, I guess it does have Liberty. I mean, Liberty University, I mean, that, I mean, that kind of, Patriotic just in its own. William Byron right there, and uh, 24 right there as well. Now, first thing I noticed was on the name rail, that it has uh, Charlie Davidson. Uh, I don't know who that was. Uh, I don't know if, oh goodness. Ooh, that is not, uh, not good. Roof's a little different than what it should be. Uh, Charlie Davidson, I don't really know the meaning of why it's there. Holy God. Look at that. Okay. Yeah, that's something, isn't it? Hold up. You've done it this time, haven't you? That's the first ever... I've seen a torn decaling. Ever. It's the first time I've ever seen that. Well, I thought this was going to be a decent one, which it still is. But, uh, oh god, look at that. There was a chip there. Disappointing, really disappointing. Anyway, let's uh, see if there's any other mess ups on this car, which I... I believe there's going to be. Liberty University, right there, the logo anyway. Uh, I've got 24 Liberty right here. Uh, still, roof's a little weird. The decaling on the roof's not great as well. Uh, Liberty University got some uh, blue that didn't reach all the way to the back of the car or on the deck lid. We the United. Uh, rookie Stripes. That's supposed to. What is it supposed to be there? I don't know. It's kind of, kind of put on weird though. Jesus. We the United, right there. Uh, Valvoline, Valvoline again, however you want to say it. 24. Chevy bow tie right there, and they got the camera. And they got the rookie stripes and Camaro, which is off centered. But moving on, we still got some more mess ups here and bubbles all the way down there. Liberty University right there. Alex Alta, Hertz, uh, 24. And then it got, uh, of course, we got Goodyear and the other contingencies right there. Got some more mess ups. So this one is the worst one so far, but I think it's just one of those die casts, obviously, that are just, that was just a bad decaling. They're not all like that, I don't think anyway, but this one's not good with the decaling. Glad I'm only using it one race, but you know what? It's just, I don't know. It's not good. Not good at all. Uh, I would expect a little better, especially with uh, the Kenseth car coming out as strong as it did. But, I don't know, this one wasn't bad, but, okay, it was bad. But it could definitely, definitely be better. It was, it was a bad one, for sure. And we've got Byron's teammate, Jimmy Johnson, and the Jimmy Johnson Foundation, uh, Lowe's Chevy Camaro, which uh, Lowe's is not with, um, what should we call it anymore, Jimmy Johnson. But his paint scheme this year looks really good, I think. I don't know about anybody else, but I do like it. I may pre-order it, uh. In the gold series, just because it looks pretty good. Now, with that black interior, it's going to look a whole lot better. But this one's kind of plain. I wanted to pick it up because it was Johnson. And, you know, it was like one of his last die, uh, die casts with Lowe's on it. But I still picked it up anyway. You know, we can still use it. I don't know what race is or whatever. But I still feel like we can get some good usage, uh, usage out of it before uh, Season 3. So let's go ahead and take a look into more detail. To be honest, I don't know why I say, like, let's take a look at the detail, because, you know, we're, we are here to do that. I mean, that's what, it, that's what the video is being made for. 
So I may, I may just have to cut off at random times, but I don't know. But here's Jimmy Johnson's uh, foundation uh, magnet. Jimmy Johnson foundation right there. 48. I got the little foundation logo. Uh, it's a, I would assume a kid. It looks like a uh, kid uh, reaching up for a star or something. Jimmy Johnson right there is a signature. And nothing on the back because, again, it is just a magnet. Got Lowe's right here on the hood. Got uh, two black lines going down it. I don't know why it's there. I don't know if that's a part of it or not. Lowe's seems a little small than normal. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. 48. Uh, hashtag Team uh, JJF. Which I would assume stood for Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Um, got some Team Up for Technology. Uh, helmet Nope. Is that what it says? Champions Grants. Right there on the deck lid. Lowe's. Camaro. Uh, ZL1. 48. Valvoline. Valvoline again. However you want to say it. Jimmy Johnson Foundation right there. Got the little logo there again. Uh, 48. Got Jimmy Johnson on the name rail. As always. And then. And not much else. I mean that's. That's just about it. So, but the decaling, what I can tell so far, doesn't look terrible. That could be a little uh, better. The front there, yeah, that could be... Okay, that's kind of... No, that should be... Like, it gets, it's good till here, and then, it, like, it sloops down. So that should be coming across that way instead of going down. But other than that, I don't see anything wrong with this one. Uh, well, maybe than that right there. Is that another... That's another uh, decal. Uh, not a chip, but like a... Uh, damage type deal. I don't know what appealing, uh, I guess. I don't know, but it's messed up. It's not a chip. It's not really that. I got some more bubbles down there, but again, PTC can't really do much. Uh, I see why a lot of people are complaining, but again, it's Lionel and PTC. Lionel's not really good with EL anyway, especially with some die cast, but I mean, you know, it is what it is. And you just have to go with it, I guess. Or at least I do. We've seen a die cast made like this before, haven't we? From the same driver, Martin Truex Jr.'s Patriotic. Guess what was here? Guess 5 out energy, you are correct. 5 out energy uh, is not allowed on the die cast for whatever reason. So I don't know why they make it. It was made like this in Gold Series, too. Um, if, if there's something this big, just put, like, tracker boats or, like, you know, something there, like you had before. See, tracker boats is already there. I'm sure you could maybe put it there, work something out. But, I don't know. Again, it's going to be used one race, so I don't really mind it that much. But, if we're talking about it being a die cast, yeah, that's bad. And the thing is, this looks good. The decaling actually looks good, so from what I can tell. Just how it's, uh, like the finish on it looks really good. That's a shame. It's a shame we couldn't have that. It really is. And then here's, uh, three winter stickers right here. I'm just going to go ahead and address that. I do not know where, um, it came from. I don't remember what races. If I, uh, I'll probably edit it over right here. Or, uh, I can try to get that, uh, figured out. So maybe, uh, I'll put it on the screen. Maybe I'll not. I don't know. But let's go ahead and take a look at the magnet like normal. Of course, got the 78 Martin Truex Jr. and Bass Pro Shops. So that's it for the magnet. Not really much there. Got Bass Pro Shops right here on the hood. And got uh, on the roof, got BassPro.com with the 78. Tracker boats right there on the deck lid. Uh, tracker boats right here on the panel as well. Uh, tracker boats right there on the back with Toyota, Toyota Camry. Uh, the tail lights, of course, 78 and the camera. And uh, on the quarter panel, we have Bass Pro Shops. Nothing over over the rear uh, wheel well, right there. Seventy eight, uh, Denver matches furniture row, and uh, the Salutes logo. And then the front looks pretty good. So, not terrible. That's a little messed up the Toyota logo, but overall this wave isn't terrible if you get decent decaling. But it just it doesn't look good on Lionel's part. I know they were rushed, and I get that, but for a collector's perspective. It's totally different from what I see, because I just see paint schemes that I can use, especially if it's just a one-off paint scheme. It's more of a reason to get it, because, you know, well, not really, but just depends, I guess, on it. I don't know, because I'm, I'm one of the ones who are actually trying to do paint schemes. Like, you'll see drivers, or not drivers, but uh, stop motion makers who will have playoff paint schemes in a non-playoff race. I'm like, what, what do you mean? Like, what, what is that? Or a... 
playoff driver who was in the chase or the playoffs and then was out of the playoffs and then they still use the playoff paint scheme. So I don't know. But I try to actually use like legitimate paint schemes and stuff. So that does kind of make it a little bit harder. But I mean, you know what? It's still fun. And I still like doing it. So that's why I decided to pick up this wave. But for the video, that is going to be all for this diecast review. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it. And I will see you all in the next video. I'm a cloud troll.